What is up YouTube? Welcome back to the On The Gas Show. We're back with another video. Now before we get started with this badass video, if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit up the subscribe button, all that good stuff. Today, we're finally back from the turkey weekend. We did the turkey giveaways the past last Wednesday, trying to help out the people. We did as much as we could. Probably next year, we'll organize a little bit better. We can give out more turkeys to the people in need. Today, we're finally working on the 420 killer giveaway that we got going on right now. We do got some shirts coming and we do got some badass stickers. But right now, we're right here with my boy Lalo at Dress changes we're gonna finally be doing some color matching on this truck make it look a little nicer also we're gonna be adding a bed liner to this truck because the bed is kind of scratched up now remember previous owner probably put this thing to work but overall from being a 2001 truck it's not that beat up it's just scratched up and yeah, there's not a lot of things we're gonna be doing some color matching and the truck has a little scratches here and there but we're gonna be talking to my boy Lalo see if we get that fixed so let's go talk to Lalo I recognize this truck. Yo, these are boys. Uh, fucking Xavier. It's almost done. We just gotta do bed liner and that's really about okay, it. Okay, okay. It's not too bad. You thought it was really bad. We had that nah, little. It was pretty bad. It was? Yeah. Good thing my boy came over here with Lalo because my boy Lalo does dealer work. Dealer work, right? I mean, insurance claims. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. My boy used to work at the dealer. If you're new to the channel, if you don't know Lalo, Lalo used to work at a Chevy dealer for what, a couple of years? I worked there from 2007 to 2012. Five years. Five years. So he got a good experience, opened up his own shop, and here we now. We got the giveaway, bro. Yeah. I want you to check it out, yeah, see what you think. I do want to do some color matching, okay? But I've mm -hmm. never brought you a bubble oh, eye yeah. front end. This is the first time that I bring you one, so I do want to color match this grill. Now I don't know how hard is it to do all this color match. It's not hard. It's not I mean, hard. It's just a lot of work, but okay. it's not hard at all. Like what you mean is even paint these yes. little parts too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that's complete. Yeah, I don't like the chrome. Okay. The only polish and chrome thing that I want is the wheels, but I want everything else the same color. That you what we can do is we can get. I think it's a Tahoe or Suburban grill. Okay. And if we can have this black, it'll be fine too. I think that one comes black if you get it in the ls i might be wrong but i know that you can get this black right. that way the outside is yeah yeah so okay. let's do this black let's delete the chrome let's paint this of course we're going to be painting the bumper take off these holes for the license plate all right so do a little bit of body work there we're probably going to need a new plastic in the bottom that one looks a little beat up right. maybe i want to put a cowhead on this thing just mm -hmm. because there's a couple of knickknacks and you know what i mean Right. So, I don't know if you can get a cow hood. I can try to get one. Yeah. If not, I think Freddie has them. Call Freddie, see if he can hook me up. Freddie, if you're watching this, hit me up. Also, color match this. This black, handles, everything. I kind of want to debadge it. So, I don't know if I'm going to take off this trim yet. Okay. Because if I do, it's a 2001 truck, so. You run the risk of. Yeah. Like, like yeah. Off, right? yeah. Yeah. So, if we can take this off without any problems, let's take this. Let's leave this here. Color match the handles, of course. Same thing in the back. Color match the bumper. No chrome. And we do need a bed liner here in the back. My whole Lalo does real good bed liner, so that's why I brought it over here. It just fix like the dents up there. Yeah, yeah. It's not too bad for being a 2001 truck. So, I mean, I'm sure they put it to work, but I mean, we've seen. No, it looks decent. I think it's mostly scratches. Yeah, it's just scratches. The only dents I actually see is probably here on the tailgate. Yeah. Up front. Yeah, yeah. So we can throw a bed liner, make it look nice. So what about these? If we can get them black, yeah. Or if you want to paint them, I don't know what's easier for you. Probably cheaper get them black. Okay, let's get them black. Put them at the handle on the back and debatch the whole thing. Also, I've seen a little scratch on the fender. This right here. See if we can fix this. Well, I mean, if we get the cow hood, I'm gonna blend onto this fender. Okay. Man, you're talking about me trying to match 22 uh, year old paint job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna blend onto the fenders yeah, and yeah. the we, person that's gonna take it is gonna be a lot happier. Yeah. So I'll take advantage and touch this up. Yeah, touch yeah. it up, make sure everything's good. If you see another ding, which I don't like dings, this is the current giveaway that we got going on right now. Remember, every $10 you spend will get you one entry. The deadline to this giveaway is December 18 at 11 59 p.m., which is a Sunday. And then during the week, either Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday, we'll do the drawing for this giveaway. So what do we got? A couple of weeks? What is it, like two, three weeks? We do got the shirt coming and we do got some decals coming. So if you haven't made a purchase for this giveaway, y'all want to wait for the shirt, we're going to get some badass shirts and get some badass decals. That's pretty much it, bro. I mean, if you see anything else wrong with the truck. I think part of the headlights, no? Yeah, we need some new headlights. Yeah, yeah, because they're kind of old, right? Yeah, I think headlights, I mean, you're going to have a new front end. And... Yeah, let's change the headlights. What about the third brake light? Yeah, we're going to need a new third brake light because it's faded. It's probably 22 years old. We're going to get some new headlights. The ones in the back look pretty good. Yeah, I throw clear on them today. Have you seen when they throw like candy? on top of this yeah so we don't have this no more it's just red yeah i mean you can try it you know what i mean and then they don't have a lot of options on these tail lights it's just either like that or clear or whatever let's try out that candy red okay so we can get rid of the amber color and i think that's it and just fix the minor dents on the bumpers right yeah I see yeah. very little like it just nicks yeah here then easy place let's take off the hitch in the back too once you take off the bumper and if it's easy take all that off we're not gonna need it every texas truck is not gonna be towing anything i'm sure the paint job's super good it's good yeah it's not bad actually for the year it's actually yeah, really like nice it has, can't and, beat it it 
doesn't have the traction control. Damn. So I've never seen a truck with traction control. This one this. had to be like almost an LT. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. These LTs are rare. Yeah, they're rare. I'm gonna show I you. have to order them. I'll show you the motor. For everybody watching that doesn't know what this truck has, we got a 5.3 with a LSA supercharger, which I raced better the other day. And he kind of got me on the first one and I got him on the second one. I think he ran out of nitrous, but that's not my problem. You know what I mean? That's not my problem. If you're not a nitrous, so it's part of racing. I'm gonna be dropping this thing off here. Just call yeah. him when it's ready. And what about the emblem? Painted black. Painted black? Yeah, yeah. Like shiny black. And then it's gonna look all nice with the nice cowboy. Yeah, it'll look, it'll look better. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's just kind of beat up. You plastic on the I think that's aftermarket. Or either it's just faded. Me quiero otra vez decir que así vienen. Así vienen. Gray. Yeah, because they're that style. They're that like, style. I like on the 06, yeah. I think they do come black. Yeah. So I, those don't come black. Then. I don't think so. What if you spray it flat black? Yeah, spray it black so it can match the mirrors. Because we're going to be getting rid of all the plastic in the front. Yeah, you want all the plastics? At least, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, well, keys are inside the truck. Let me know when you're ready. Yes, sir. Mañana. Mañana queda lista. <laughs> let's go. We got to drop off the lighting at the shop, so let's go. All right, guys, so we're back at the shop. We're going to be working on the lining as well. Yeah, I forgot about the lining because we haven't put it on the vlog, actually. But it's still here at the shop. We got the tranny fixed. We got the tune with Manuel. So I got the midnight tranny and midnight tune. We actually took it to drop with Chewy and we dropped it from the back, but the parts from the front were back though. So it finally arrived last Friday. We're going to be taking this thing to Chewy so we can finally level it out a little bit. As you can see, it's a little bit more lifted from the front. It has more gap. And in the back, it sits nice and low. So right now we're going to be taking this thing out, drop it off at Chewy. We're also going to be hooking up to a trailer because we're picking up crawfish. Crawfish is gonna get a brand new wrap for the PRI show, which we are going. Starts like on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and I think Saturday. We're gonna be going to a PRI show in Indianapolis, and that's how you say it. I heard it's cold, there's a lot of snow. I've actually never seen snow, bro, because I don't snow over here in Houston. I've never seen snow either, I'm from Florida, so. Yeah, so my boy Saucy's behind the camera right now. He's gonna be helping us out with the vlogs this week. So we gotta hook up the trailer, but first we gotta move the monster truck. Also, we got some badass stuff coming for the monster truck. We're gonna make this thing as his clone. I seen some comments on the past video, on the video where we took it out, and the turkey giveaway video, and I seen a couple comments talking about you should put it as his body kit. And I got my boy Mando, Mando Paint. He's building a one of a kind as his body kit for this long bit, because if you pay attention, it's not a short bit, but since it's so big and tall, you can't really tell. But this is a long bit truck. You know what I'm saying? It's a diesel truck. The diesels don't come short bit. So it's a long bit. So my boy, he's building a body kit that fits here. The original one, I think it's like this short. You gotta cut it up, extend it, and do all that good stuff. I think he also has to extend this in the back. We are putting a complete SS body kit on the truck. Doors. We're gonna get a badass bumper in the front as well. Super sport bumper. So it's gonna be exciting. We're also going like eight inches higher on this truck. I ordered some shocks with my boy D and uh, I think they're on the way. So this truck will be at LST 2023 with the STP diesel booth. So catch this thing over there. We're gonna put an SS body kit. We're gonna put a new wrap. It's gonna be a little higher. We can probably put some speakers in the back. And then maybe after that, we'll go to Crosby. We still got the bus in the back. So we gotta take the bus to Crosby, but I gotta get the whole crew together. So we gotta plan it out probably take it out on a saturday or on a sunday so i'll let everybody know so everybody else can pull up as well so it could be fun we're also going to be taking a couple monster trucks we'll take a couple side by sides and we're going to take the bus so it's going to be lit that vlog is going to be badass so y'all stay tuned for that so make sure you are subscribed to the channel because we got that fire content now let's move the monster truck. <laughs> gonna have to put that bucket every time it rains because this truck stays outside so when it rains that's the exhaust we don't want to water in the motor we're gonna fuck it up oh we also got perrillo perrillo's in oklahoma right now picking up the 75 bird finally and we're also picking up the sea mobile which is the red truck with 30s i think he already loaded him up i think he's on his way so we'll probably catch him here later on the day it's fixing to get dark we had a little bit of time change so now it gets dark really quick. It gets dark at 5.30, 5.45, 6 o'clock. My boy Sauce is from Florida. What time does it, the sun go down over there, my boy? It's about the same. The same thing? Yeah. But let's pull out the lightning. We actually haven't moved the lightning in a while. Since when? Man, it's been a while, bro. I don't know when the last time we took this thing out. I don't remember. It's been a while. It's been months. 
No, actually, when we dropped it off at Chewy to get dropped, it was out, and then after that, we brought it back. It has a real ugly lean to it right now that I don't like to drop them like that. So once we get it dropped and looking nice, we're gonna be able to take this thing out for a spin. What do they call this, the Carolina lean? Is it the Cali lean or North Carolina lean? Probably North Carolina. Yeah, lean. nah, it doesn't, it's not that. <laughs> it's not that bad. up and ready to roll we're a little short-handed today so i'm just telling saucy how to drive the ford that thing has a coyote with a 10 speed built by manuel at midnight that thing just wants to go it wants to fucking haul ass but yeah we're gonna be dropping off the truck so we can get the front suspension a little lower just because it has a little lean to it a little squat and it shouldn't look like that but once we get this thing drop leveled out we're gonna be able to pimp this thing out also we got some couch checks for that truck and we got a posi and some gears for it because it only peels out with one tire so we have that issue right now but once we get it dropped the right way with the front suspension leveled out we're gonna be doing the gears and the posi and all that good stuff but right now we're headed to choose and then we're going to pasadena speed shop there's a lot of traffic right now too so let's go Real touchy. I told you. you. Hit this IE? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I it. Like I said, this truck is real sensitive, the pedal. So we ended up doing this 5 0 swap with my boy Gumby and check out the pedal. And I think it's uh, an electric pedal. It's run by sensors, so it's real touchy. You can barely hit that motherfucker if it wants to go, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's a little complicated, but you gotta get the hang of it. All right now, let's go. See, El Casabes, we're gonna go talk to my boy Chewy so we get this lightning drop like it's supposed to be real low. All right, guys, so we're right here with my boy Chewy. These trucks in the front, they got something different. It doesn't have a coilover. ¿Qué exactamente lo ordenamos esta madre para poder bajarla bien como debe ser? Son los bines, los bines que son de tres pulgadas para bajarla para que quede bien. Ok. ¿Esa madre puro... trae un resorte o no? Sí, pero haz cuenta que trae un resorte aquí, pero si la bajas con puro resorte no queda bien. No jala. So hay que cambiarle todos los bines que son de lado a lado para que baje bien. La ¿Está como un diferencial enfrente o qué? No, son como dos bines. Oh, okay. so, entre más lo vas bajando con resorte, la llanta se va abriendo. Sí, ok, ok. Y la bajamos de atrás que venimos poniéndole un flip key. Flip key, lift chacos. Y lo levantó una pulgada para estar sí. cinco. Y luego ya le habíamos hecho algo enfrente. Hay que bajarla a tres. Pero ya le habíamos hecho algo enfrente. Resorte, no oh, ok, ok. Y luego con tres pulgadas más del con pin. Con tres pulgadas del pin va a quedar. Va a quedar parejita. Sí. El malón. And then we were waiting for these parts for a while now. Actually, como un mes, ¿no? Sí. Esperando más. Más, y son las únicas que llegaron. Nomás sí. llegó un, un kit. ¿Qué marcas son? Son a DJM. All right, so we're going to get DJM beams in the front. And hopefully we go three inches lower. And then once we're three inches lower, it'll be even all the way around. And it's gonna look nice and we're gonna be able to take it out. So, ¿Para mañana está listo o qué? Para mañana está listo como medio día. Y mañana me hablas, ahí te mantiro como quiera. All right, everybody, so that's that. We're gonna be heading out to Pasadena Speed Shop because the giveaway is still over there, the Sport. We had a little leak, a little power steering leak, so we fixed that. Also, crawfish supposed to be ready. We're supposed to be picking that thing up and taking it to wrap tomorrow, so let's roll. What's up, bro? How you doing? Good. Oh, what's up? Oh, this looks pretty nice. What's up, bro? What's up, bro? Okay. It came out. I knew they would go over to the top with it. Okay. And like the rest of them up here uh -huh. covered up because it was all red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So no, I think it came out. It came out real good. I like it. I painted some of the black in here where you could see the brackets okay. and stuff. Painting them up. Are we gonna yeah. be able to buy all these new plastics? I have it. I have it right here. I just have to uh, buy all these new plastics for the light. Yeah, no tenemos turbo que aquí, so it's gonna feel like nothing. Oh, okay. Like original. Remember before we had the radiator, you had to yeah. cut it. Porque pasaban las pipas por aquí. ¿Cuándo la venden esas? Tiny nose surfed or that lady over there on Milby? Perrillo de que sabe. 
Because Perry wants to go buy them for his. Oh, there is? Yeah, the plastics and the lights. Just buy the plastics at least because it's made of nuevo. No, we can get you plastics for sure. Yeah, like the packets of video on Malona. It's not too bad. I mean, it's just we started nitpicking, dude, like going to that event. We talked yeah, about. Yeah, but we could put brand new plastics now because we don't have a radiator or nothing. Mm. Before you had to cut them up for the pipes. So we are going to PRI show, which is. What are the dates exactly? December 8, 9, and 10. Okay, so it's Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Yes, sir. So we're gonna be at the Frankenstein booth. Big shout out to Junior once again for giving us this opportunity to be there. I mean, I never thought, you know, building a race truck can get me this far, bro. You know what I mean? It's a lot of things, dude. I feel like the truck done really, really good. The Hoonigans was a big show, I feel. And I feel like this is like a next big, big deal. That's the big boys. All the big dudes, the fastest dudes, the most popular guys. I mean, they're all there. All the street all guys. So we're going to be verified. So we are verified once we pull up there. We're going to have a little blue check on the truck. You know what I mean? On Twitter. On Twitter. Yeah, yeah on Twitter, we're going to get a blue check mark. So yeah, we changed out the carpet because the carpet that it had, Roy fucked it all up. And we had a <laughs> But now we, we did all the way to the top. It's because back then we had a dash and then we took off the dash. So it was kind of like midway. It looked ugly, but now. Yeah, and I mean, it's good to have it new and fresh. It definitely looks more lively with the new fresh carpet, but the dash, we changed a couple of bars thing in there. Jason, he changed the little bar, so, but he came through after Thanksgiving and did it all for us, and it did a real good job. Real, real happy with it, so. And I was able to put some aluminum underneath. I, see that. I wasn't able to get the carpet. I didn't have enough time to put the carpet on there, but all the holes that were covered up. We have one here, but that's where the water goes through for the intercooler, okay. to the ice box inside. So we'll fix that up whenever we get some more time. A little bit nicer. We came through, painted the block, painted a little bit of stuff up, kind of get up what we can. You can't really see too much of it, but try to make it look presentable. Kaylin Price One Stop Shop. There you go. So if you're looking, if you got a race truck and you want some nice carpet, he comes here. He came Thanksgiving, yeah, right? He came here after, yeah. after Thanksgiving. So big shout out to them. We'll put their Instagram right here. If you want something like what we did on Cross. And we also got some new wheels coming, right? I think they ship out Wednesday. So it should be here Friday or oh, Saturday. Oh, see the new turbos? <laughs> we got some new turbos. We got some new turbos for the truck. We're not going to put the new turbos just yet. We don't have time. We don't have time. We're going to have to wait for after PRI. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll have the new turbos at Truck, truck Nationals? Yes, we will. Are we taking? we're going to have time before Mexico either. Okay. So it's probably going to have to. The small ones, I think, are better. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, they're loose converters. Yeah, yeah. But for Truck Nationals, they should be on there. Okay, let's go, go look at the new turbos. We also got a gangbang here. We actually took this truck yesterday to the track. First time out. Yeah, first time out with a brand new build. Brand new build. It is everything from Crack Kid. Everything from Crack Kid went to this one. Motor, turbo kit, fuel system, tranny, holly, everything. And this is, of course, a 4x4. This is a, another build that we've been working on besides this one. So this one's your fuck too, right? Yeah, it's a little sister to Crawfish. It's Stock frame rail, ladder bar. Uh -huh. uh, good chassis in it, but it's gonna be fast. Uh, I mean, we were not able to make great passes yesterday, but what it was able to do is a great start for us. For so. the first time out, it wasn't bad. Yeah. Something well, was already well, messed we, up. Yeah, we think, the, we think the front diff was already broken on the okay. four wheel drive because it wasn't engaging all four wheel yeah. drive. That was our problem. Yeah, we were running with three tires. Yeah, it looked like that yeah. side was spinning, this side wasn't spinning. Yeah. So we just put a brand new diff into it right okay. now. That's one of these that we're working on. So three wheel, action it was still pretty good man still pretty yeah, good. Yeah. the 64 was nice yeah at for, 60 foot, for the first time out yeah it's 60 better than most of these 404s that i've seen yes it's a new build for tito yes. as well it's the first time tito gets into something of this yes. caliber so you know trans brake bump you know but uh he, he did really good it's just a couple little things we have to get lined out but uh to answer your question yes it fucks it's fucking for sure <laughs> so we started this build probably like a year ago or no less no less man i said like six months six it months? went pretty quick yeah, yeah it was around summertime when, when he started tearing it apart. Okay, yeah. We uh, found this truck. Me and my boy Tito decided to build a new truck just so we can put this one away. You know what I'm saying? Not put it away, but... This one's a little bit unfair for everybody else. It's yes. a little bit faster. Yeah, yes. You know, people start making rules and stuff, and we get it. We get it. You know, we true, don't want to... We ain't want to let it hang all the time. Yeah. But we don't want to bring this one out. This we'll, is your... We'll bring this one out for sure. So, I'm the driver for this one. We're trying to get my boy Tito ready for this one because there's going to be a point where these both trucks are going to be on the same class. Yes. And I can't drive them at the same time. You know what I'm saying? My boy Roy probably can't drive them either because he drives another truck. Yeah, we got a lot of So we got to get my boy Tito ready. So he did pretty good yesterday for the first time out on something really fast like this. Now he had a little bit of practice on Little Uzi. Yes. Which that truck was running really good. It was running 560s with the 370 stock block motor. Yeah, but it's different. When you get a side, bro, you got to dash, you got to 
stock seat. Yes, yes, you got a yes, center console. Yeah, yeah. You're chilling. You're getting yeah. this thing. It's yeah. a race truck, man. Race you know, truck. you know, you race been truck. In We even got a fire system in there. Yeah. One seat, no dash, just a little screen. Every time you get on a race truck, there's something. You got to get used to the shifter. Yeah, the shifter. No, you know, that's that's a real big deal, the shifter. Yeah, the shifter. This one has a bunch of buttons. You got to turn on the air to water, all that bullshit. This one is a little bit more, more simple. But once you race this caliber, you just can't jump on the truck and just go. Yeah, yeah. You it know? gets really, really hard. There's a lot of little, little bitty big tricks where they're different, yeah. the four by four. Yeah. And but yeah, I was really happy with him. He did his part. Yeah. It's just so he cut a good light. He was taking off pretty good. Uh, just, it, hey, bro, he surprised me with the lights. Good, bro. It was good. The only thing that was fucking us up was it was running on three wheels and it was spinning and it was going to the left. Yeah, it was it was driving. Yeah, it yeah, was driving like to it the was left. Driving over. Uh, but we're gonna get my boy Tito ready for this one because, like I said, there's gonna be one point at time where we're gonna be on the same class and he's gonna be the driver for this one and I'll be the driver for this one and then Roy. We'll be driving most likely. Yeah, Gremlin. He Gremlin. drives Gremlin. So yeah, it's gonna be pretty fun. Truck Nationals, January 28th. You do not want to miss out. Brought to you by Nitrous Outlet. Talking about that, I need a Nitrous kit for the Red Bull because everybody's calling me out on the Red Bull. Red Bull. I thought we put a Nitrous kit on the giveaway, so no more 420 killer. No, no, no more, no more. Actually, the giveaway is right now getting color match. Okay, Looking good. Nice. We're going to Perio now with Red Bull. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we're yeah, going to get on Red Bull. So whenever we went to the Hoonigans, they let us borrow a Nitrous kit. It was like a little booboo ass kit. Yeah. yeah. Manuel put it in 20 minutes, but now we're going to put a complete nitrous kit the way it's supposed to be. You know what? We're going to talk to Nitrous Outlet. I know they make a place specifically for the Coyotes. Okay. Uh, nitrous plate on the front of the throttle body. I think it'll be real nice. A little yeah. bit cleaner. With, Just remember you know, it has a supercharger. Yes. Yes. But on the throttle, the supercharger the way it bolts. But yes. Yes. We'll find out. You could get the spray bars, but inside like a direct port. Okay. It hits Man. harder, right? Like that. Yeah. I was able to play, but I know you, bro. I, I know you. I don't want to blow it up, bro. <sighs> Something you like. You say that right now. Yes. But if you go and you race Perrillo and he beats you. He's not going to beat me. I'm just, uh, if. Okay. If, let's just say. If, if the truck turns off. Brownie beats you. I know you, bro. You're going to be like, Adrian, turn it up. True, 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 true. All right. Let's get a motor. Twin turbos. <laughs> nitrous kit. Holly. 400. No, 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 no. Place fine. Oh, okay. A place fine. Okay. A place fine. We'll just do a play for now. Put the nitrous out. Let's see yeah. if they got something yeah. in stock for the Whipple deal. Yeah. So we get a nitrous kit on that truck. It will be at Truck National as well. We are bringing out Brownie. We are bringing out the Holly truck. Mm -hmm. This one, Gang Bang. We got a little Uzi. Little Uzi as well. That That'll one. be joining some classes. You do not want to miss out. We got a bunch of classes. Besides that, my boy Randy with uh, Seals Hot Rods. Yes. Sponsor fifteen hundred dollars on each class. We have three classes in the classes. Yes. Which are there's a six o eight mile class, six fifty eight mile class, and seven fifty. Okay. Each class is gonna be fifteen hundred on top of the buying. Whenever everybody buys in, however many trucks it is, yeah. it's gonna be an additional so fifteen hundred. So it can be top. three thousand, thirty five hundred for each class. I, I think last year we did quarter mile last year we're doing eight mile this year but i'm thinking the the 750 class last year there was 32 trucks okay so, so it's like 150 buy-in you're talking about maybe five thousand dollars that's a lot of money that's it's a lot of money be. so i want to get you some money make sure to pull up houston raceway january 28 you do not want to miss out we also got 404 class we got the fast trucks yeah, it's the wrong with your brown class. Uh -huh. And we also have the little hitters okay. for the guys that are faster, but not quite okay, as there. fast. Okay. We got the little hitters for four them. Four by four, the index classes. And we also have a true street. Okay. So it's for the real deal, like brown. I consider brown, brown is kind of the yeah, example. 28-inch yeah, yeah. tall tire, full interior, all the panels on the body, everything, everything there. Yeah, that'll be the one class for the true street, 20-mile cruise. Okay back to the lanes and then we are going to have an outlaw street kind of like a holly class okay a little uh, bit, but okay. it's a little bit more of a race you know they call it a race truck I and mean, a street truck but it's really a race, a truck, race but truck any tire any transmission okay. i don't care if you don't have no panels you can show up with just a bed and that's it okay. and you can run but that'll be the outlaw street. So i can show up with this one yeah yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> well, we gotta make a 20 mile cruise uh, 20 mile cruise yeah. For the outlaw can we street. stop in the 20 mile cruise? <laughs> we're just, to to put, the... just to put gas. <laughs> we got a little three gallon on this one. We're gonna go to the gas station, which is about 10 miles okay. away. So it'll be from there to the gas station. You get a sticker okay. and then you and drive back. back. If, you, if you gotta stop and fill up gas, that'll be the perfect time at the gas station. Okay. I don't and think then... it'll make it one way to the gas station. <laughs> I'm about to carry some jugs, stop, put some alcohol. Oh, no, then... bro, you're running the 4x4 class, bro. With so, this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, if I can run another class, you oh, know what I mean? bro. Sure. You, got, you got 20 trucks. True, true, true. We can another truck to yes, that class. bro, yeah. So, back to this one. The front diff was broke. We fixed yes. it. What else was wrong with it? It was a couple little leaks. We were going over on that. But nothing was, major. No, bro. They're just simple stuff. Just I think the shifter, I get the shifter to work. Okay. It was it wasn't one to throw the shifter. It was that. Uh, the line was pinched or something? Yes, okay, yes. Okay. I got to check the airline on there. But the main thing was the front diff. That was okay. really, really, That's like some little things we got to do to finish it up, but nothing major. Nothing major. Yeah, everything worked fine. It's just. So, as soon as we fix it, we got to go test it. Yes. And we have to go to the streets. Yes. 
Because yeah. the track is closed. Yes, the track's closed, um, and the weather's going to be pretty crappy too. But no, we're going to go to the streets, test it out in the streets a little bit. Once we get it going back, we start to line out. We know, like on Crawfish, yeah. the shock settings the and the bar yeah. angles and yeah. tire pressure and the launch PSI, the Everything. boost. There's so many things that go to it. Everything matters. That we still have to line out. Yeah, get Tito some more seat time with it. But uh, for sure, for sure, at least now, it's getting it to go all four tires. That's the main thing. But All with the 60 time. foot, I think it's looking pretty good already. Man, with the 60 foot and what we know, that motor's gonna mile per hour, what we expect it to mile per hour, bro. Cause it was already hauling ass on cracking. Yeah. And it kind of weighs the same. Yeah. We're a couple hundred pounds <laughs> difference. Yeah, we're surprised. Skinny yes. man. Yeah. He did a real good job with it. Which is pretty cool. This one was built by Skinny Man, and then this one was built by Jason and Corpus at Straight Line Performance. So we got, you know, the best of both worlds. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. We can take these trucks to the street, or we can take them to a the truck, and yes. they get down. Yes. So talking about crawfish, let's go inside and show you the new turbo. All right, guys, well, here it is. Not only we got one, but we got two. Two of them big motherfuckers. But I think they're too big, but we're going to have to return them. Or no, on, bro. lift the bitch. <laughs> Oh, it's heavy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. So, what size are these? 88s. 88s. Hey, these are the brand new turbos they just came out with. Garrett just released out. Okay. But with the billet center section. I love the most about these Garrett's, bro, is that. Oh, oh yeah. that shit's, That's just next level. But it is the newest turbos that just come out with Garrett's. They're big. They're big. Yeah. But So, that means that we need a bigger motor. <laughs> right? That's what we're saying. Yeah, they're for the bigger motor. Yeah. yeah. We got a new motor coming for a crawfish. Not that the one that we got right now doesn't work. It works perfectly fine. But everybody's trying to go fast, bro. Everybody's trying to catch up. And I don't like it when they're right there. You know what I mean? I don't like it when I can hear them or I can see them. <laughs> so that's why we got the big turbos. 88s. We have 79s, which are smaller. We're tapped out on those. Yeah. We're also tapped out on the fuel system. We got new injectors, new, new, injectors, pump, new pump, and then two new big turbos. Crawfish is getting all the goodies right now, actually. New turbos, yeah. all that, and then new wheels new wrap no right now crawfish is loving life bro yes. crawfish is definitely it's loving life uh, yeah. <laughs> it already ran good you know but again it, i don't know better by now if it's running good ain't good enough for him yes, he exactly. wants great garrett ar, garrett AR. so -band. there's a lot of turbos out there in the market precision bs force induction bullseye there's a lot of turbos out there in the market and i love them bro garrett i don't know if it's just the truck sounds different we never had issues with the turbos we've been running the truck for the past year and yeah. a half i think never had one issue never had issues never smoked the blades they're always working and we're running alcohol we've been pushing them turbos yeah. to the limit i don't want to go too much into detail okay. why we love the garrett's but there is a lot of people that love precision those are good turbos and everything but for us man we feel like we're kind of on to something yeah. you know with the garrett's the way they work and stuff like that but we're really happy super super happy with these yeah. guys so garrett makes a lot of turbos actually right oh a lot of turbos. so the company garrett makes turbos for other brands yeah the components garrett makes their turbos there is companies that buy garrett turbos like this uh -huh. and then they change them or they modify them okay, you know okay. maybe seven blades instead of the 11 blades yeah. or they'll change the front cover or the back cover yeah. not even just garrett's multiple companies they kind of do that if you know garrett garrett is uh one of the top line companies with the yeah. turbos so we tried out the garrett's when we first built Crawfish with the twin turbo, we actually liked it a lot. I like the sound of it. Those turbos that we got right now, they spool up real quick. These turbos are a little bit bigger, so we're gonna have a little delay now. Well, yes and no. Crawfish right now, when we got your transmission, it's it's a Rossler, okay. but you have the dumps, okay. internal and external dumps. That helps it. The, yes, and the converter, we've never had to use them to this point okay. on Crawfish. Yeah, we don't need them. And all it does is, well, there's one for spooling, okay. and there's one that we use like going down track to okay. manipulate the converter, okay. which is which we know now it's yeah. it's everything. We've had the stuff on the transmission. Now we're gonna be able to use it. To use it to So up. it will be a little bit slower, but we're hoping not not much. Yeah. And maybe with this motor. With the turbos right now on the motor, it spools in a second. Like it's ready to go in one second. These turbos are a little bit bigger, but that's why we got a bigger motor coming. But we are gonna install these turbos with the motor that it has right now. We're trying to break the record again, right? Oh yeah. Uh, right now we're pretty much stepped out at 23 pounds, which is crazy. 23 pounds, that's it. It doesn't go any faster than that. At OTM, we thought that we had everybody covered with that tune and it worked out really good. The truck performed. And we did everybody cover just to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> everybody was covered. Everybody was covered with that, but everybody's trying to get faster, which is good. It's good competition, bro. Yes. You know, it makes everything go in circles and everybody is trying to do more and that's good. It's good to have competition. I know Manuel is building some chassis for the trucks and he's going to get faster. And then we got everybody else trying to go faster too, which is good. All you got to do is pull up to one of our shows 
and you can join the class, you get some money, you probably even beat crawfish. But well, to me, everybody can talk. And there we know, yeah. I'm not gonna say no states because yeah. I got in trouble last time for that. Oh, we did, we, it was but, a whole big deal. Bro. Yeah, yeah. But a lot of people talk about who has this or who has that or blah, blah, blah. Hey bro, when we put on at OTM, when we talked about doing the 4x4 class, yeah. the reason was because everybody talks. When it's like, okay, well, if you're gonna talk about it, let's, let's be about let's it. Be about and, it. Yeah. and crawfish showed up and all those guys that showed up too, yeah. but it showed up and it won. So we also uh, had people from Mexico. Yeah. That made the drive from Jalisco, which I don't know, it sounds like what, 14 hours yes, or something. 16 hours, I think. Yeah. They came all the way over here to see what's up. Yeah. And uh, at the end of the day, them guys had a blast and we're going to be joining them yeah, in January. January. So we are actually going to their racetrack and they do have another 404 class yes. over there. They do no preps and stuff like that. So we are going to be taking crawfish yeah. back to. Yeah, Truck Nationals. And that's where the class is made so we can put everything to rest. Yeah. Like, hey, if you think you have the baddest 404 truck, bring it this class is for you yeah. if you think that's you yeah. bring it yeah. if it's a diesel if it's an s10 yeah. if it's a cyclone if it's anything that you afford whatever bring it yeah. because we want to know and if there's someone faster than crawfish cool, cool. let us know yeah, yeah. so we know what we need to be yeah. you know yeah. but for now that's the point of that class we did it we invited everybody y'all put the money up it was a badass race was. everybody was really excited for yeah. it i think it was the main event at the show so it was pretty big so not only that you can come and you can take some money home. You know what I mean? A lot of money. A lot of money. So Truck National is gonna be really good. I think they're racing, they're taking off. Like in a serious matter. Yeah, yeah. I, I think last year for Truck Nationals, we had 120 trucks okay. tech in. Tech in. You know, and I have a lot of people that I talked to from out of state. They couldn't make it that one. But they're, they're gonna, gonna come to this one. It was one of the first ones that we did. It was the first you know, big one that yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like so, actual for real. It's remember, radio prep, badass boost weather or whatever, the negative DA. So even yeah. if you're nitrous, even if you're supercharger, you're gonna go faster. The weather's badass. It's a quarter mile track. All the classes are eighth mile, super big. The parking lot is ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. Food stands, it got everything next level. The best of the best. We got the track at Houston Raceway. It's real well equipped. So we got everything there. They even sell nitrous fuel, Yes. right? All that good stuff. Yes. So yeah, we don't wanna miss out. Truck National Giant 28. If you thought we were playing around, we ain't playing around. So right here back at the shop, we got the 350 Sport previous giveaway that my boy Israel Aguirre was the winner for the 350 Sport. Unfortunately, he did not want the truck. He rather took the cash, so he took $25,000. So he's $25,000 richer right now. But that's good news. That's good news for everybody that did want the truck because we are gonna give this thing away again, just the beginning of the year. As soon as we're done with the year, with the 2022, we've got the 420 killer giveaway right now. After that, we're doing a two week giveaway on the Blue SS clone, the one Tiny didn't buy. And then after that, we're gonna start with this one for one week. So this is the first time that we do a one week giveaway. So for everybody that participated on the giveaway, did not win the truck, well, you have another chance. Which is gonna be at the beginning of the year. We're gonna do it in one week. It's gonna be quick, so you gotta be stay active. That's what I'm saying. Subscribe to our channel if you're new, so you can get all the new content coming up. We'll be presenting this giveaway as soon as the year jumps to 2023. It's gonna be a one week giveaway. Like I said, I've never done a one week giveaway. We're gonna try it out, see how it goes. We're gonna have a special decal, a new design that we got, which is we're gonna put it right here with some nice red reflective stickers. So y'all stay tuned for that. The power steering was messed up on the truck, but we got it fixed and it's pretty much ready to roll. We got brand new paint job, brand new wheels, brand new tires, brand new sound system. Everything is brand new. We even put a new exhaust in the back. I mean, the interior is fucking killer on this truck. It's all original. Like I said, you can't really do much to these trucks in the interior. We actually got the interior super clean. So one of you guys can be a lucky person to take this nice truck home. We're gonna put this thing up, and then we're gonna arrange some stuff, and we're running on Perillo because he's bringing the 75 Caprice and the Simo build. He's on his way. 
should be here anytime soon. So we're gonna put some trucks up and we'll go from there. So let's go. Took a lot of to make it here. I'm joking. He's not joking. All right, guys. So finally, Perillo made it back from Oklahoma. Where exactly did you go? I don't know. The outskirts of Oklahoma City, yeah. like Chacto. I don't know. Anyways. Some name like that. Anyways, Chacto, my boy yeah. Perillo went to Fat Fabs today to pick up the SEMA build and the Donk, the 75 Vert. Finally, gonna get some nice content on the 75 Vert. It's a little dark, you can't really see, but it looks fucking killer with the new wheels. Tomorrow, we'll give you guys full rundown on everything that we did to the car. It was supposed to go to paint, but since we're swapping out the motor, I think we're going Pro Charger or Twin Turbos? Pro Charger? We gotta do the whole mock up, the LS swap, and then after that, we'll take it to get paint. Even though this is a nice color. It's nice, but. If it was up to me, I'll, I'll keep it this color. It's nice, but once you pull it out with other dunks, that's when your car is gonna be like whatever. All the donks now out there in the game, they all got nice paint jobs or yeah, they're, 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 that are candy or metallic. Yeah. They got a whole bunch of flakes. And you got a 40 year old paint job. It's original paint. It's an original color, original interior, original top. Everything's original. It looks good. Don't get me wrong. It looks really nice. I've been waiting for this moment for a long time, but we gotta just put that on the guest house, bro. You know what I'm saying? So you, gotta, you gotta switch it up a little bit. We gotta switch it up. So we're gonna be rocking this paint for now with the same top, same interior. I think we gotta do some stuff in the back seat because we did a back half on the car and I think the dry shaft's on the way. So we're gonna have to redo the seat in the back for now. But other than that, it looks badass. 26 is all the way around. It's cool to get this view right here because this truck has 30 MTW wheels and this car has 26's MTW wheels. It's actually a badass lineup. We're gonna unload them and go for a ride on the donk. See how it rides. It used to ride real smooth. But Perillo said he already took it for a ride and rides really good. Yeah, it's just already connected. Up. He's already plugged in. No, he can't plug into this one. Oh, you can't. Oh, we put the steering wheel too? What? Nice. Yeah, we're gonna have to fix this carpet. There it is. 75 Burt donk. It's unloaded. today make sure you like subscribe to the channel we got a lot of badass content tomorrow probably picking up the lightning tomorrow we'll give you guys an update on the ss blue cone that tiny didn't buy also we're picking up crawfish <laughs> taking it to the get a new wrap we'll wash these two tomorrow this one we probably got to get a head out we'll probably take this one too to get a nice wash now we are going to repaint the car but it needs a nice wash so stay tuned for tomorrow's wrap let's go